Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. All right, it's Friday and we got some things to talk about, so let's get going with that. Well, we certainly do know now who the limited time path is right in the maze. You know, it's funny, when I was looking up the information, and there wasn't really a lot because they hadn't put event information on their forms yet, I had no idea that this guy was actually another one of the Forsaken. Otherwise, it would have been pretty clear he would have been the, uh, the limited path, and there he is. So, you know the way it works, you go down the limited path, you get him, then you try to get as many cells as you can, because remember, you can only rank him up with his own cells. And if you don't get them, well, we've already seen how you get them, remember? Yeah, 50 for $15. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm probably going to make a run through here uh, during this video to get him, and we'll see how many of those coins it actually takes. I'm pretty sure I have enough. We also know who the uh, Unchained Breeding event is. Uh, some of my viewers actually knew it before I did and posted it in the comments of the previous video, but it's Hukawai. So if you have Vata Magma and, of course, um, Dark Zool, you can breed them together. If you have Violet and uh, Galante Jr., you can substitute one of them in as a, uh, a Joker to get a slightly better increased chance of getting them. The good thing about this event and doing it during the maze, of course, is that this will also get you maze coins. If it doesn't get you hook kawaii, if you fail, if you get one of the parents, say, instead, you're going to get 75 coins. Now, if you get hook kawaii, one, you get an absolutely awesome creature. If I get him, I'm going to be upgrading mine immediately. If you do that, you get 250 extra maze coins. So, if you keep failing over and over and again, like, for instance, I've only tried it once so far, and it seems to be a rare... Well, I'm going to get 75 maze coins as soon as it's out. At least you get something other than the rares and the epics, right? And that can help along the way, right? So that's, that's not such a bad thing. And again, this, if you get him, this is a very good monster. Okay, in the spirit of the Christmas season, they're giving us nine legendary monsters who can now be breedable. And this, of course, is permanent. So, all of the individuals you see here, and you can see the names down here, Cassia, Shalinar, Will, Razorface, Clevia, I'm not going to try that one, Chill Bill, uh, Jakugan, Dead Wolf, and Melir, all of them can now be bred. Uh, the combinations are available if you want to click down here. They, uh, I think they put it in the, uh, the community section of Facebook. They have a big old graphic uh, giving a nice layout, a nice grid of everybody who can be bred. Um, i definitely interested in a couple of these right here. You know, um, Clevia would probably be the first one I would go for. Just because, you know, after all, she looks kind of cool there, right? So, that, yeah, definitely some very interesting... And a lot of these monsters I do have and are actually very good. So, this is actually kind of cool. It's just that, generally speaking, breeding trees and our hatchery are usually very busy. Like, for instance, for unchained breeding events for really good monsters. But, I mean, again, this is a permanent thing, so if there's an individual in there that you want, and remember, these only use epics, so you don't have to have legendaries in order to get them. But, of course, you do actually have the, have the epics to get them, right? So, just keep that in mind. And, of course, once again, in Monster Wood, we have pieces for Rasyuku. The reason I mention this is because this is going to start tomorrow. Now, if you've been trying, you have all five pieces. Five of five, right? You have them all already because they don't make it very difficult to get them. If you try, you're going to get them. They've had, I think, two dungeons already. I don't think there's one open now. I think it kind of closed yesterday or something like that. But, I mean, it is going to open tomorrow. It's going to be a progression. It's also going to be kind of expensive, too, if Worm Lad's last one was any indication. So... If you want to go for this individual, and this individual does have a lot of really cool stuff. A lot of really cool stuff. A lot of chance of torture effects. A lot of weakness stuff. Lots of very good stuff. Definitely worth a try if you have the gems. Because like I said, yeah, it's going to be a progression. But it's going to be expensive to actually finish it. So we'll see how that works out. But um, it's definitely a good monster. Definitely a good monster. All right. And I think that we are done with that. All right, so, uh, yeah, I have one try over here. I'm using uh, Violet. I did it not too long ago. It came up 22 hours, so it's a rare. So at least I don't have to wait a long time. I haven't turned on my breeding temple yet because I don't want to get flooded early in the event. 
the breeding temple only lasts for two days, and this breeding event lasts for four days, right? So that's the way it is. And you might see that I actually have, I have her in there right now, so I'm definitely going to be hatching her. And in terms of doing hatching, well, I woke this fellow up, and of course he's got some very good stuff, as we know. His trait is uh, abomination and area ignition. He gives everybody on the other side ignition. Um, his stats were pretty good. Definitely leans towards speed and life, right? And in terms of the skills that I selected, I went with burning puppets, uh, moderate fire damage to all enemies, and applies possession to all enemies. That's pretty good. Uh, Rotten Kiss deals heavy special damage to one enemy, applies poison. So that's some little something different mixed in. It's only got a one round cooldown, which is good. Then we have Magma Ground. Deals moderate fire damage to one enemy, applies burn, and quick stands. Now there was another one that also did ignition, and I think something else. I think it was ignition and nightmares. But you know what? He's doing the status cast for ignition, so that's the reason I went with this one. And then, of course, this one. Fire strings, deals moderate fire damage to one enemy, applies mega possession to one enemy. Uh, not going to work if they still have the, uh, the uh, immunity to possession for this one. But uh, could be very, very useful. Matter of fact, you, in certain situations, you may want to start a fight with that. Who knows? Because there may be one individual you just really want them out of the fight, or you want them working for you. So that can be very good. He's very good, so we'll find some way to test him in the near future. Of course, I'm way behind, but I'm kind of thinking about doing something. I'm wondering whether or not I could do some testing during streams. Let me know what you think about that idea. I might just do something like that early tomorrow. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I wouldn't use the three that I was planning on a video for just to see how that worked out, but we'll see. Uh, I also woke up him. And, of course, I got some good stuff from the, uh, the library for doing that. Um, and so I haven't leveled him up all the way already because I'm kind of using him to get maze coins, but I'm pretty sure I got all his skills already. Going with uh, Spears of Agony, moderate light damage to all enemies. Spear of Tempest deals massive um, special damage to uh, one enemy, and that's a three-round cooldown. That was, there were was smaller ones that did had a better cooldown. But I decided to go with this one because of this. Light of Punishment deals low light damage to all enemies, removes all positive status effects, and that's a zero cooldown. So if he gets his cooldowns activated, I can kind of use that one. And, of course, probably his defining skill... Light Salvation applies photophobic shield to all enemies. What that means is they can only be hit by light damage for two turns. That one can be very annoying. It certainly has annoyed me in the past. So I'm going to level him up to 60. Like I said, I'm using him to get me maze coins, right? And uh, I'm probably just going to do the same thing with her when it's ready. Uh, because, you know, like I said, the, the feeding videos... They don't really get, they don't do too well. And low video, low view videos kind of hurt channels. So I think that's probably just the way I'm going to do it from now on. All right, and was there anything else? I mentioned the breeding and everything else. All right, so let's go into here. All right, so I don't have war today. We kind of uh, did very well in the last war. This one just kind of started this morning. By the way, we are at the point now where we're actually starting the wars for ourselves and not waiting eight hours for it to do automatically, so I'm actually really happy with that. But uh, already the next war is looking pretty good because at the moment, the other team, the computer didn't put in very good stuff, so I'm thinking, that could work out very well for us. But like I said, we got nearly 300 points from the, other, the previous one, and the other team didn't even get to 100, so we were very strong in that one. A little bit more participation would be nice, though. That just going to say that. Yep, yep, yep. Might have to start making some changes pretty soon. All right, so we have Thundir. So let's move Thundir. All right, I'm starting off with 4,672 coins. So let's just see how many are left when we're done. I think it's around 4,000. Somebody said it was like, you know, with a 10% discount, it would be like 3,500. But I wouldn't think it would be that little. By the way... Well, after this, we're going to have to have a little chat about the next maze. And if you think any of these, um, any of these individuals was overpowered, you haven't seen anything yet. Okay, Apex. And some more coins. Yeah, the one thing about the Limited Path, Limited Path always has fairly good rewards, so... Team Strength. 
usually ends with seven gems. Okay, let's see. Um, can I get uh, more maze coins, please? That'd be really good. Please? Okay, I'll take that. I won't smile, but I'll take it. I won't complain. All right, so let's see what we have here. Um, I see a whole lot of corpses. And boom. Oh, there was one survivor. By the way, why don't we do a uh, damage shield? Boom. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, bye. Okay. Coins would be good. You're just mean. It's Friday. Why are you mad? Should be should be happy that it's Friday. All right, silver relic chest. A lot of food, and it didn't waste my time. You know, a lot of people are watching right now. They're seeing you do this. They are. They're seeing you do this. You're making yourself into the bad guy. Okay, Apex. This is your opportunity to do good. And there you go. He's doing it intentionally, of course. Let me guess. It's going to be uh, money this time? No, he's stuck on the food. Well, I guess food is very important. Just look at that belly of yours, right? Okay, see, if I want food, I got food. Oh, that's a six. That's actually not bad. All right, and moving on down. Yes, I called you fat. What are you going to do about it? You're going to get me money now. I'll use the money to buy food. You're very expensive to keep fed. All right, let's move on. Okay, we got another fight. Okay, we're getting close to the end here. Oh, we're going to be fighting you now, are we now? All right, let's see how this works out. Okay, you resisted that. All right. Um, might as well just do this since it didn't really take on anybody. And then you were all alone. Here, why don't we just uh, put a little shield on there, a little reflex. But I don't think it's going to matter. Because you're dead. He's upset about that. It was inevitable, though. Oh, wow, look at that. You gave me some nice cells. If you'd just done that from the beginning. All right, so let's move along, because we can see the finish line. Oh, and you see they did an update. They actually put the numbers in for everything. And I just realized now they put the numbers on the actual uh, maze itself. You can see that I'm approaching... Um, yeah, that's a wonderfully low number there. You can see I'm approaching seven gems, so they kind of took the mystery out. Not that that's a bad thing, right? All right, and... Claimed. All right, so we're just going to do this. Okay, so it was actually less than 4,000. That's very interesting. All right, with no discount, it was actually less than 4,000. Came up to about 39, like 38 and change, like 38, 60 or something like that. I don't know. I had to do the math. But it was definitely less than 4,000, so that's all right, which is... Uh, Good, because it gives me hope for the next one, right? All right, so I'm going to be saving gems, of course. And I think that the 30%, this should be ending Wednesday morning, right? So it should be around noon on Monday, my time. That's Eastern Standard. I forgot to put that in the last video, so I superimposed it, right? That should be around where the 30% uh, the uh, discount is going to be if they stay to the same pattern. I'll put that, I'll put a post in the community section of my YouTube page when that happens. And remember, it's only for an hour. But that's what I'm counting on at the moment. That's what I'm counting on. And I'm hoping that happens. Because obviously, having him and then getting 
sells for him are not the same thing. Do I expect to rank him up? No. I'm just going to try to get whatever I can, right? Now, I mentioned the next maze because these mazes always come in twos. And if you saw it, you know, the starting graphic, you see Thundir and you see a guy on a sleigh behind him who looks suspiciously like, well, Santa. Well, his name is Santerion. If you think the other guys were overpowered, you ain't seen nothing yet. Nothing yet. All right, first of all, this guy's metal. His, I, re I really want to talk about his, um, his um, what's his name is right now? I don't have any graphic or anything like that. I just have like a grid layout of his, of his skills or something like that. And I'm just looking at his trait. He starts hardened and status cast Megaton because he's a Megaton tank. And you're like, because he's probably going to be doing the same thing, be on the limited path, probably be a little bit more expensive, but I had an extra 700, so I could probably get him. I mean, when they did Lum, remember the Nemesis, I think it was 4,800, so probably could get him uh, when it comes up, not a problem. So you're going to start off with a metal Megaton tank. And if you look at his books, Mechanical, Sea, and Winter, those are pretty common in war. So you're going to see him being put down as a... Um, a Megaton tank a lot. But here's the thing. If you rank him up to rank 1, the Megaton is no longer a status cast. It turns out to be part of his trait. So he's going to be Megaton out of his trait, which means you can't use uh, remove positive status effects. You're going to have to disable his trait in order to get to anybody else. If you get him to rank 3, he loses the Harden and it becomes an artifact which means you can't put any negative status effects on him. You can't put any positive ones on either, but remember, his uh, Megaton just became part of his trait, so it doesn't really matter anymore. And then if he gets to rank 4, he gets status cast back, but he gives damage reduction to the other team. But that's not even it, because this guy's got a lot of healing stuff too. Even before you get to rank 4, I mean, we're talking about rank 3, he's got a skill that heals one of his allies, and I'm assuming he's included in that, for 75%, and then puts a negative status effect on the other, the other, the bad guys, right? And it's a two-round cooldown. He's got an earlier skill, which is kind of like a group attack that heals the entire group for, I think it was 35%. And then if you get to rank four, he's got a single target attack, I think it was a single target attack, that gives a 50% heal to your entire team. So he's going to be really hard to kill because of the healing. If that 75 works on him, that's just ridiculous. And remember, that's tier 3, so that's something we're all going to get. That's assuming it does target him. They might come up with some way of it not working on him. I don't know, but that is just ridiculous, right? So, I mean, it's... And we've already seen, you know, how you get the extra cells, you know, you... 50 cells for 15 bucks. At least that's what I saw, right? So if I had wanted to rank up Wild Bird, I have a few cells of him, would have cost me 30 bucks. Is that going to happen? That's not going to happen. So, I mean, they seem to be going in a very specific direction with these Forsaken. They're pretty powerful in most cases. I think Wild Bird and this guy, uh, Santarium, probably stand higher than the other two. But the thing is, you know, it seems they're doing a lot of them now. The th this is going to be the fourth maze in a row coming out where it's basically a Forsaken. And there's no way, really, unless you're really good in these mazes, of ranking them up unless you reach into your pocket. You know what I mean? Anyway, warning for the future. Warning for the future. All right, so like I said, there's no war. Um, we did good in the last war, but uh, that's where we are for this one. And, um, yeah, pretty good combo. You got Dragon, you got uh, Winged and Magic, which is the reason you see the team in front of you there from me. So I, I have uh, high hopes that we'll win again, but I don't want to get back into that, you know, where they take they, the eight-hour cooldown thing. And, you know, just I mean, if they want to automate starting the war immediately right afterwards, I don't have a problem with that. That saves me having to remember to do it or one of my co-leads having to do it, especially since we're out of the habit because it's been happening um, automatically for so long. But um, yeah, the eight-hour thing, just get rid of the eight-hour thing. It's just, it's just baloney. All right, so I don't really have anything else except, of course, for some PvP. So let's get to it then, right? 
All right, so I got teams, and uh, apparently my, uh, it's not quite low enough, though, so we might end up having some issues with a couple. We got a good mix of teams here, so let's get going. Our first team was suggested by the Hulk, and because I don't want to get smashed, I'm doing his team. All right, we're going to start over in light, and this is going to be Big Al, and then... We're staying in light, actually. Actually, this is a full light team. I just realized that now. And we're going with... I did this out of order. Thomas is actually the third one, but we have Thomas. I clicked on him anyway, right? And finally, over in light again. And this time I'm doing it right. This is going to be Simba. So there's a lot of speed and there's some damage in the middle there. So let's see what we have here. Oh, Krabby Droid. I d don't know about that one. I mean, up the middle is interesting, but there are only 100, and I have guys here who are all over 100. So I don't know if that would actually be a fair fight. I mean, a team on the right looks like a, a tougher match, especially considering you have Shade Moon there. I think that would be a better fight, so let's do that. Okay, and we get the advantage here. Of course, he's going to be dodging group effects, so I need to take care of his friends first, right? All right, so we're going to do uh, an unpaid loan. All right, let me think about this. Can I take the opportunity to hurt this guy really badly? Charge with me. And it will make him bleed. I want to make him bleed. Mind you, I could pretty much kill either of the other two. But, ah, that's a good question. You know, the Alpha Clevius might be a better one to remove. Yeah, I'm going to stick to the, uh, psych the uh, philosophy of kill his friends first. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Sucks to be you. All right, let's see. Invisible Hunter... And it will dodge for a while. So let me just do this. Leave Cloud alone! Um, that's actually not going to do anything. Let's do this. And Battle Tiger, that's going to hurt. Okay. Oh, and you're evading. All right, that's not good. Vendetta. Like I said, just one left, right? All right. Uh, trained beast. Okay, shielding. Yes, that sounds like a great idea. Ready to hunt. All right. Charge. Okay, curse. All right, but you don't have anything left. Mind you, you do have a lot of uh, health. Okay, that was a miss. Uh, let's give you guard down. And then, boom, you're dead. Was that 175,000? I think that was 175,000. All right, so that worked out well. It was a good fight, though. What is it with you and the money? You and the money and the food. Ugh. Okay, so that worked out pretty good. Let's move on to our next team. Our next team was suggested by Originas. I hope I said that right. And Originas wanted to see. Uh, this is, uh, we're starting with somebody in the light, but the entire team isn't that way. It's an interesting idea. Let's go with Dorothy. All right, next we are going over to metal, and this is going to be Roger. And finally, over in water, we're going with Tara. So let's see how this is going to work out. All right, we're going to be taking stamina away, but that's an interesting idea. I mean, if I do one of the Megaton tanks, let's say I do the one up the middle, right? That means you know what's going to happen, right? Demise is going to hit Roger with the big one, and Roger is going to do a big damaging... That means that, that the Hyperia is going to get all of that, 
and it may just outright kill it. The problem is if that doesn't happen, I'm in trouble from the other two because I won't be able to hit them. That's a heck of a risk. Let's do that. How much do you have? Okay, you have some health on you. Yeah, I think that's not going to end well for you. Nope. The problem is that I think she goes first. Oh, this is a problem. She's faster. All right, what are you? You're, this isn't really my problem. My problem is this. Tara is only going to be able to take his stamina away, right? So I don't want to do that. I want Demise to have Roger do his big attack and possibly take out the Hyperia. But that means that they're going to go. And there's nothing I can do about that until her turn comes around again. Well, I mean, there's nothing I can do about this. I mean, if I, even if I do, if I do this, she's going to get the stamina back anyway. All right. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, strength from beyond on Roger. So he is doing double damage and triple damage, and that just is such a bad thing. Look at one One hit would have done it. Just one. Oh, whoa. I'm an idiot. He was he was 100, which means he wasn't 105. If he was 105, he would have been a Megaton tank. All right, I wasn't thinking correctly. I was thinking this 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 whole thing like, what am I gonna do? But you know, it just didn't occur to me that he was 100, which means he doesn't have the status cast of Megaton tank because he had to be 105. Well, that was anticlimactic, but at least we won, right? So that was good. I would have gone with the other one of the other ones if I'd realized that. I was kind of scared of the Dunra, frankly, though. Uh, one reason, because there was a Corel Brutalis in there, too, and I could have ended up badly. You kill one Megaton tank, and then you give the Corel Brutalis a chance to become one itself, right? Okay, well, let's uh, go to our third team. Our third team today was suggested by Kihim Gilbert. I hope I said that right. I probably didn't. And uh, this individual wanted to see, starting over in Magic, should be right there. All right, so we're going with Bite. Uh, next, we're going over to Darkness. And, oh, right at the top there, Fido. And finally, over in Light, we're going with Spyro. All right, so Bite's along for the ride. Assuming we can find a team that is not susceptible to... Um, possession all right i don't want to mess with that team on the right for yeah for obvious reasons i think the team up the middle would be too easy they're all a hundred over there so i'm just gonna i think that i think i have to take into account spyro's power spyro is very powerful so i mean even if i ran into something that had a megaton tank he's got that one skill which will just even this new guy who's coming up next week, Spyro's one great skill will just neutralize him completely. Oh, do I want to risk um, Myrak? By the way, my stake is now 105, thanks to the Monster Wood cells. Um, I'm really ask, God's asking for a lot of trouble there, but you know what? Let's ask for trouble. Yeah, this is probably a big mistake. All right. Oh, you're going first. What are you doing? Ouch. Well, that's kind of ugly. You guys are you guys are immune to everything now, aren't you? Control and torture. Oh, that is just not good at all. That means I can't do anything here. I guess blinding? That's about it. All right, and uh, yeah, like I said, there isn't a lot I can do, unless of course I was to do this, which removes positive status effects from one enemy, deals heavy special damage to one enemy, disables trait, and applies stun. 
That one is just devastating. And uh, yeah, I want you gone. All right, and I guess I'm just going for damage here. But I mean, this will, oh, I'm not wasting that one. I do want to make sure that, um, that she's dead. I'm saving that one. For, okay, I'm going to do this one then because I'm not going to be freezing these guys anyway. All right, the Myrak is gone. Okay, and so is, well, so is he. All right, well, they still got that stuff on them, don't they? I can't use anything. I mean, I could do the guard down and the uh, the sunburn. No, the sunburn's not going to work, but they'll get the guard down, right? By the way, I've already lost this one. Um, no, actually, I wanted this. Ah, they got the shield on. Um, this. Okay, you got blinded. Okay, that's right. You can do that. Oh, just lovely. Lovely. Um, you're still immune to torture. Is that a damage mirror? That's a skill mirror. Doesn't matter anyway. There's nothing I could do with it. Well, you up here. All right, I'm just going to give them curse because I got nothing else. Oh, you just reflect. Oh, yeah, I wasn't. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, but let's face it, it was already over anyway, right? Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Myrak is really a pain. Even when even when Myrak didn't do anything to us, just making them immune to torture and control is just dead. Yeah, I was just tar terrible. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But you know what, I should probably step over here and get these anyway. Because I have two anyway. And yes, I got my keys today. So far, I got all my keys. So I'm going to get uh, 30 more pieces of the other one. All right, so sorry about that. All right, let's go with our fourth and final team for today. Our fourth and final team was suggested by Adam Rashid. Adam gave me three teams. I think this was the second team. So let's go over to, where is it, Spirit? Yeah, right, the first one. It's the first one. All right. All right. Spirit, and of course, you know who we're going for. The only individual I go for Spirit for, which is Dave. All right. Next, we're going over to Earth, and this is going to be Korra. And finally, over in Light, we have Lance. All right. So, obviously, a very strong team here. Um, we don't have any denial, so we're kind of hoping that Dave is going to give us something good, right? Some kind of good protection. Uh, as uh, tempting as it is to take on the uh, O'Reilly, I'm just too terrified to do that. Uh, denial at the middle? I mean, we have a lot of strong stuff here, but like I said, we don't have denial. I'm just going to see if we can find something a little bit more interesting. Uh, the, well, the team on the left is interesting, but I'm not going to do that. Up the middle, I mean, it's two against three. That's not really fair, right? So we'll try one more time. I guess I'm going up the middle. It's no denial. Yeah. I mean, there's the wasp who's going to hide for a round. But I guess that's a tougher team. I don't know. I mean, the team over here probably is better. All right, let's do the team on the left. Some decent runes over there. For 100, she's equipped very well there. All right, uh, but the thing about it is, of course, they have the advantage because they're going first. So it really depends on what Dave does for us here. The Vade would be great. Oh, that is not what I wanted. That's ah, not good. You're the only one now, right? Yep. All right. How to kill your dragon. So do we have any dragons over here? The problem is I'm not going to know until I actually hit them. I think I really need to get rid... Well, I don't think I'm going to have a choice here. I have to hit the Corot Brutalis because it's taunting, right? 
Okay, not a dragon. Okay, but we are dragon slayers. And let's see. Righteous evil! Okay, that one is gone. I don't suppose you would just charge, right? Oh, what did you... You did a, a heal on them? Oh, and they're immune to torture effects. Um... You know what's a great uh, skill to use when you're, like, charge? Okay, well, charging's all right. I would have preferred to use the barrier, though. Okay, and let's go with this one right here, which is modern special damage, total damage reduction, and a skill mirror for himself. Okay, now you're evading. All right, that's wonderful. Let's see. Um... I'm going to do that, because then I'm going to do this. Okay, and bump on the head. All right, that worked out. Okay, and a spin. Last chance to make yourself look like a good guy. And we know how much you care about that, Tubby. Okay, and this time we're actually done. All right, so we have the, um, the what's the name? The limited time maze is going now. We saw how much it is. It's less than 4,000. Um, so the next one is probably going to, you know, the next event is probably going to be a lot more. Just keep that in mind. So whatever, um, you know, techniques you use for gathering coins for this one, make sure when you get to the next one, it's going to be better. Now, my guess for the 30% the discount, as I said, for... My time zone is probably going to be around noon. I believe it was the same time zone. It hasn't changed since then. So I think it's noon on Monday, I'm guessing, because I believe the event is ending Wednesday morning, which means it's a day and 17, 18 hours before. It's that kind of a thing. So I think that's when it's going to be. I'm going to be looking all around there. And like I said, I'll put something in my uh, community section, on my Facebook page, if anybody's looking there. I know a couple of people do. But um, you might want to keep an eye open for yourself. Because that's, and, and keep this in mind when they start the next event. When they put that 20% discount out in the beginning, don't do it. Don't use it. Because remember, anything you spend there isn't going to mean anything for the limited path. Limited path began yesterday. Any coins you spent before then are just gone and wouldn't have gotten you Thundeer. The same thing is going to go for this guy, only he's going to be more expensive and you're going to have to have him. See, the thing is, everyone else is going to have them. And I already told you, look at the books. Mechanical book, the sea book, and uh, the winter book. How many times do you see them come up in wars? A lot. That guy is going to be sitting there on people's islands whenever those come up. If you don't have them, then that means you're in a lot of trouble. Just saying. Even if you just have the rank, the rank zero version of them, you got to have them, right? But when you see like rank three, rank four, yeah, you're in a lot of trouble. And also we have the Unchained Breeding event going. It's Hook Kawaii. If you can, definitely go for him. So that's something you actually might want to do. He's really good. Anticipation. Got a zero cooldown. I think it's in zero cooldown, zero stamina attack. It's really good. He's just really, really good. I would love... If I could rank mine up, he'd replace Galatron on my team. Because the thing about it is that Galatron, also, he's also immune to control. That's the reason. But he's also got anticipation, which would make him more useful to me than Galatron. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See ya.